Hosanna, 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 in the highest, Hosanna, save us, woohoo! Well, welcome to Holy Week. We made it. It's been quite a Lenten season with lots of stories and lots of songs and lots of crafts and whatever else you've been doing. But we are at the final countdown to Easter. It is Holy Week. And today I would like to share with you some examples of some Holy Week crafts that you can do with pretty simple and basic items that hopefully you have around home or that you can easily pick up. So I'm going to show you kind of three and a half ish crafts. So we're going to do a couple of main crafts for Palm Sunday. And then I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do if you get bored and need something else during the week. So the first thing we're going to do is for Palm Sunday, I'm going to show you two versions of making your very own palm branch to wave and to march around and to celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem on a donkey, which is the next craft. But for the palm branch, so what you're going to need is pretty simple. All you need is some green paper. You need some sort of a stick. This could be a popsicle stick, it could be a clothespin, it could be something like this, like a painter stick. You could even use a paper towel tube, empty, um, or whatever you want to put things onto. And then you'll need um, some decorating materials and you'll need some scissors. So what you're going to do, I'm going to give you the how to, and then I'm going to give you um, the final product so you don't have to watch me walk through every single step but the first thing that you're going to do for this one is you're going to make a palm branch out of palms palms get it because they're hands anyways so you're going to trace your hand and obviously this could use some help so you're going to trace your hand trace several of your hands or trace one and then use it as a stencil for other ones then you're going to cut your hand out of the paper. You probably want at least anywhere from four to six hands, depending on how long you want your branch to be and what you're sticking them onto. So after you have cut your hands out of paper, you are going to attach the hands onto your stick using glue. You can use Elmer's or you can use tape or you can use a glue stick. Elmer's probably works best. You just have to wait a minute for it to dry. And once you have glued your hands on, also if you would like to decorate your hands prior to gluing them on, if you want to write on them, if you want to put stickers on them, go for it. Once you've glued them, you're going to attach them to staggered sides of your little pole so that you have your fantastic little palm branch here. Um, hopefully it doesn't look too much like a Christmas tree. But if it does, that's part of Jesus too. So now you can, you know, you can wave this around. You can turn it into a little fan and fan yourself. You can have your own parade into Jerusalem. Um, but you've got your fun palm branch there. Now I also want to show you how you can make another very, very simple palm branch. This is a good one for younger children, like maybe preschool age, because they can do this and it allows them some good scissor practice. So this part the kids... The youngest kids are not going to do. You're going to cut a leaf shape, some sort of kind of leaf-ish shape, out of, again, green paper. Maybe you want to make a blue palm branch? Go for it. Um, but you're going to cut your leaf shape, then leave a little space at the bottom so that can be a handle, unless, of course, you want to stick it onto a popsicle stick or something else. That's fine as well. And now what you're going to do doesn't have to be perfect is the great thing because when is a branch absolutely a perfect shape? I mean, this one definitely is not. So after you've got your leaf cut out, this is the part that's good for little kids or for big kids too, but you're gonna just cut snips, snip, snip and up, snip and up, snip and up, snip. So you're just making little slits in your paper. Snip, 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 and um, from personal experience, if it is a younger kid, there might be little snippets of paper all over the place. You might wind up with a palm branch that looks more like a jagged tooth or a jawline or something. But that, hey, they're practicing scissors, they're having fun. And so then you can write on this 
and you've got your fun little palm branch that you can also wave. So, a couple of real easy palm branches to celebrate Palm Sunday. Um, then we're going to make a donkey to go with Palm Sunday as well. So this one's a little more involved, but still very simple. You're going to need a paper plate. You could also use probably a coffee filter or a piece of paper or a paper cup, or there's a lot of different ways that you could do this. I think it kind of works best with a paper plate. Uh, then you're gonna need some clothes pins, the old, this kind of clothes pin, the springy kind of clothes pin. And you're gonna need, um, depending on how much you wanna decorate and embellish this little guy, you will want some markers or something that you can, that you can decorate with. Um, and you're going to need a little bit of glue. If you wanna give him an eyeball, you can have some googly eyes, depending on what you have around the house. So what you're gonna do is, again, you get the elapsed version and then the final product. You're going to fold your paper plate in half like a taco, but it's gonna be an upside down taco. Um, I mean, I guess you can fold it like a regular taco. So here's your taco plate, then, when you flip it upside down, this is gonna be the body of your burro. Burro is a donkey, by the way. Burrito is a little donkey. Why that's a tasty Mexican dish, I don't know. But you're going to fold your little donkey and then you can decorate and color this. So you can make it gray or brown or purple or whatever you want your donkey to be. And then you're going to give him some extra body parts. So he needs a head. So this you can just do with like a regular piece of paper. Um, or if you want to get real fancy, you can use foam or felt or something. Um, this does not have to be perfect. I'm not great at making the donkey's head, but you're just going to give him, you know, give him a little nose, give him a little ear. Donkeys have kind of longish ears. So you have his neck and, and there's your little donkey head. And then you can decorate this little guy. You can give him an eyeball. If you have eyeballs, you can draw him an eyeball. You can draw him a face. You can put some hair on him, maybe if you have yarn, or you can draw his ha yarn, hair, whatever. Um, and then you're going to attach Donkey's head to the back of his body, like so, using glue or perhaps tape or whatever you have. Um, and then if you have maybe some ribbon or some string or some felt, you can give him a little tail. Or again, you can make him a paper tail too. Um, you can use toilet paper if you're not afraid to spare a little of that for his tail. Um, and then his, if you want to give him a saddle, you can put a piece of paper over here and give him a little saddle. And then these clothespins are going to be his legs. So you're going to give him four clothespin legs and attach them to on either side of his body. So your final donkey will look something like this little guy. So yeah, obviously I did not do a great job with the shape of that head. Um, so you've got his little, now he can he can stand up on his own if he wanted to. Um, he's got his little tail, his little saddle, and then you can, if you want to add a, if you want to make a little Jesus, you can make a little Jesus figure and put him on top of the donkey and parade him around. And you can wave your fun palm branches as you parade him around the house. And there you go. Happy Palm Sunday. All right, one and a half more things really quickly as you go through your Holy Week and you're needing something to do. One, I'm not going to show you because it's pretty simple, but it's always fun to make a bracelet. Pardon me. So all you need is a pipe cleaner or a string or something, some beads. You can make this the colors of the Holy Week story maybe, do a, a black one for Good Friday, a red one for Jesus' blood, a purple one for the Last Supper. Um, you can make a meaningful colors or you can just have fun and make a colorful bracelet. The last thing is this is a um, Maundy Thursday or Last Supper kind of a craft and it is very simple. All you need is some kind of a cup, um, some paper, and then you need a foot. So you're going to trace your foot and you're going to cut a foot shape out of the paper. Then you can write a verse on it or you can write something to remind yourself of how Jesus served and he wants us to serve too. So like this says, Jesus calls us to love and serve one another. And you can decorate your foot if you want to. You can add some colors or some stickers. You can decorate your cup. 
And then it's just a little decoration. If you want to drink out of it, go for it. Just don't put the paper in with the drink. Um, or you can just have this there. Maybe it's maybe it's a little piggy bank of sorts that you can collect some change or some items in here that you think might be good to give for an offering. So that's just your special reminder of God calling us to love one another and to serve one another and how he demonstrated that by serving and washing his disciples' feet. So have fun, get crafty, get creative, stay busy, and have a very blessed and wonderful Holy Week. See you for Easter next time.